Hi, this is Maureen from Argisat, and today we're going to be looking at the classic egg drop experiment using the Argisat launch pack. But instead of using an egg, we have replaced it with a sensor board that can give us actual data instead of did the egg break or not. So for that, you're going to need a space board sensor with the connected Grove jumper wires, an Arduino, an SD logger with micro SD card, 9 volt battery with the barrel jack adapter, a breadboard, and something to bundle this all into, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. The power jumper goes from the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino over to the positive rail on the breadboard. The ground jumper goes from the GND, or ground pin, on the Arduino over to the negative rail on the breadboard. Next, attach the spaceboard sensor by connecting to power and ground on the breadboard with the red and black wires. Next, add the white jumper in pin A4 on the Arduino and the yellow jumper in pin A5 on the Arduino. Finally, we're going to add the SD logger. We'll need four jumper wires. We're going to use black, red, blue, and green. But the color doesn't matter. We're only using it to help make it easy to identify which wire goes where. Add the black jumper to F12 on the breadboard and the other end over to the ground rail. Add the red jumper to F11 on the breadboard and the other end to the positive rail of the breadboard. Add the blue jumper to F10 on the breadboard and the other end to the Arduino pin 8. Finally, add the green jumper to F9 on the breadboard and the other end over to the Arduino pin 9. Now I can add the SD data logger. I'm going to plug it into column H from row 8 to row 13. I've already loaded the correct sketch onto my Arduino, so now I'm ready to test. I'll need to add my micro SD card into the SD logger. Now to add power. All I have to do is plug the 9 volt battery with the barrel jack to the Arduino. Once the battery is plugged in, the circuit will immediately begin logging data. Notice on the SD logger how it is blinking blue. That means it is logging data. Okay, now that I've got data, I'm going to disconnect power. Take the micro SD card out and check on your computer to make sure data was collected. When I open the SD card on my computer, I can see that there are two files. One is the config file. We don't need to touch that. The other file is the text file. That is our data. We can open it up as a text file or change the extension on it to a CSV. And then we can easily add that file into the experiment platform. or open it in a spreadsheet program like Excel or Google Sheets. It looks like I've got data in there, so I'm ready to, for the next phase of the project, building the case. At this point, there isn't one perfect way to do this. My goal with this is to create a protection to the hardware and to keep the wires from popping out during the experiment. I'm going to use a small plastic food container for putting this in. Keep in mind that you'll need to need access to the SD logger and have the ability to plug in the 9 volt battery. Another modification to keep in mind has to do with the sensor. The sensor can go inside the container but some of the sensors need to be able to sense the area outside the container. I've cut a hole in my lid and taped it securely to the lid. Now that it is done, it is always a good idea to do another test of data collection because it is easy for some of these wires to pop out. I've tested mine and now I'm ready to go. My challenge to you and your students now is do you think you can make a rig that's a little bit lighter or smaller? This one ended up being about five ounces. So if you do, be sure to tweet us at Argisat so we can see the results.